All right, class, let's settle down. Today, we are going to learn about subtraction. Ready? Ready. All right, so before we start with subtraction, let's go with the most basic rule. Is that when you're doing subtraction, the bigger number should either go on the left or on the top. So I put these two on top of each other, the bigger number should always go on the top. Let's do this. Okay, so class, let's try this one. Um, so when we're doing subtraction, we always start on the right side, which is the ones column. So we go on the one side, to the tens, to the hundreds. Okay, so if I have two, what is two subtract seven? It's five, right? Are you sure about that? Two subtract seven. Not quite. Let's try it again. Okay, I want you to pretend that you're really hungry, you're super hungry, and you want to eat seven tacos. Seven tacos. But I only have two tacos. Can you do that? That's okay, teach. I got tacos right here. That, that's not the point. Could I just eat the two tacos, like whatever's there? Okay, in this example, you only want seven tacos. You must have seven tacos, okay? How can two subtract seven? So what do we do? You know what, Teach? I would go get some more tacos. Exactly, that's right. We need more tacos. So what we're gonna do is I want you to put on your imagination caps and we're gonna go next door to the other taco stand and we're gonna ask for some more tacos. Hello sir, how may I help you? Oh, hey, um, can I get, let's see, what's on the menu here? Will you check out our menu? Tacos, $2. Bigger taco, $4. And for special deal, taco and bigger taco, seven dollars. Tacos, seven tacos to be exact. Oh, we don't have any tacos. No, only two tacos left. What do you mean you only have two tacos? Your store is literally called lots of tacos. Look, lots of tacos. Yes, yes, it's called lots of tacos, but there, there isn't any tacos. What am I supposed to do? I got kids to feed, what do you expect me to give them, napkins and hot sauce? Could you maybe like get some tacos from maybe someone else, like a different store? I guess I could try the store next door. Lots more tacos. Okay, oh, okay, thanks, thanks. I have more tacos, can I borrow some tacos from you? We have tacos, we have so many tacos. But we only serve tacos in packages of 10. So you gotta buy 10. Oh, good, good, I need exactly 10. Good, you sell only packages of 10. I'll take one package of 10, please. 10 tacos, coming up. There you go, okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay, sir, I have your 10 tacos, and then I have my two tacos for 12 tacos. So you want four tacos? Seven tacos, okay, okay. Seven for you. And then I get to keep five tacos. Thanks. Have a good day, sir. Make sure to give us a good review on Yelp. Okay, back to the lesson. Okay, so we've gone next door. How do you, how do, you do that? I don't know. We asked for some more tacos. So, we don't, remember they only come in packages of 10? So we don't have eight anymore, we have seven packages left. And then we take that 10 and we give it to this taco stand. So instead of 12, we have, I mean instead of two, we have 12. I got the answer. 
add 10 to the 2, which gives us 12. Now can we do the problem? It's raining tacos from out of the sky. Tacos, no need to ask why. Just open your mouth and close your eyes. So 12, take away 7 is 5. Now 7, take away 9. Can you do that? I am going to say no. That's right, you can do it. You're gonna to have to boil some more tacos. We're gonna to have to go next door again to the other taco stand. This time, they only sell in bulk boxes and each box has 100 tacos. So, let's go next door. I need some more tacos. I, I have more tacos, but I don't have a lot of tacos. What about you? Uh, let me check. Hey, yo, Vincent, we got any tacos? We got a lot of tacos. Man, we got a lot of tacos. How much do you need? We only sell tacos in the big box of 100. So we got boxes of 100. Actually, we got nine boxes to be exact. Nine box, nine boxes of 100 tacos. That's a lot of tacos. Yes, I'll take one box of 100 tacos, please. You want one box? You got a box. Here you go. There you go, sir. 100 tacos. Oh, thank you. Did you see that little... We were in his dream thing. There was taco stands. Man, how does he do that? Okay, we're back to the question. All right. So then seven, take away nine. Can't do that, right? So we got to go neck over. Borrow some tacos from this stand. This becomes a two. Cross off that seven that we used before, and it becomes a 17. 17, subtract so 9 is 8. 2 to take away 1 is 1. 185 is our answer. I think I got it. Thank you, Mr. T. Now, subtraction, there's a way to double check your answer. Let me show you. So, you take your answer and then you add it to the smallest number in the question, and it should equal that. Let's see if we did it right. So 197 plus 185. 7 plus 5 is 12. Carry over 1. 9 plus 1 is 10 is 18. 382. 382. Success. Are you serious right now? You said tacos. Put it away. We have more questions to do. Yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Can I sit somewhere else? So this time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 500 minus 287. We're gonna subtract a co across double zeros. What, this guy crazy. Okay, so let's start on the right side in the ones column. If you want to eat seven tacos, can you eat seven tacos when there is zero? That's right, you can't do it. So we have to go over, but there's zero again. That store is out of business. This lockdown's affecting us all. So for questions like this, we have to start with the biggest taco store. So we gotta take one taco one package of 100 tacos away from this. So we cross that five off and it becomes a four. And then we add that one to the zero here. Cross that zero off, becomes a 10. All right, can I do it now? Zero, take away seven. No, I can't. So what I need to do is I need to borrow from this taco stand. So we go up to here, cross that 10 off, it becomes a nine. Then we add that one to a 10. So then your question should look something like this. Let's try it. 10 take away 7 is 3. 9 take away 8 is 1. 4 take away 2 is 2. 213. Thanks, teacher. I got this. You got that? I don't think he has it. You think we're right? Well, let's try our adding strategy to double check. So we take our answer 
and then we add it to the smallest number in the question, and it should equal 500. So 287 plus 213. 7 plus 3 is 10. 8 plus 1 plus 1 is also 10. 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5. 500. There we go. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, there's one more strategy you can use to solve questions like this. What you're going to do is you're going to take one, just one, away from the 500. But you got to make sure you don't forget about it. So if I take one away from 500, what do you get? Right, 499. So 499, subtract 287. We've got to remember that we have to add one back. So remember that. So now you can do this. This is a lot easier to subtract. There's no regrouping. 9 take away 7 is 2. 9 take away 8 is 1. 4 take away 2 is 2. But then we add the 1 back which is 213. There you go. I think I got it. We're done, right? Oh, man. And I need a vacation. Shell.